you don't use money for anything. No, when he jig me, when he like when he jig, you don't uh, when he jig me. Holding it to him, ozubu ozubu, convert it in naira. <laughs> nah, bring the money. I buy it for. You. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time of stopping by, you are so welcome. Virtual hug to you. My name is Wendu. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber that is based in the beautiful city of Zurich, Switzerland. So if it's your first time of coming, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a video. Yes. <laughs> welcome it's been a while i did um a sit down video like this and um today's own was because of an argument i had with my sister yes where she was talking about all the expectations she expected from me or people living abroad aunties and uncles all the expectations she has and all these things so and i'm like you know what <laughs> i think people in nigeria don't understand what's the struggle about life abroad and in this video i am going to be telling lots of facts about some of the struggles living abroad that we have yes yeah, so if this is the kind of video you want to watch why don't you sit down get your cold water get your bottle of coke and let's dive into this video yes yeah, so the first struggle we have about living abroad is the fact that we're lonely yes you have a lot of friends around but there's nothing that beats the love you get from family if you live in nigeria you can always fly down or drive down or walk down to your mother's house to go get a cuddle a hug you can always send the children to your mother or to your sister on holiday but lie in abroad you are so alone that you literally do everything on your own yes you do everything on your own there is nobody if you want someone to help you take care of your children be ready to pay get a nanny get someone to babysit to take care of your children you don't get that um, privilege of well, somebody coming from the village or from another city to come and say i'm coming to visit auntie wendu then i have family members at home this is one of the struggles we have abroad another struggles we have about living abroad is how expensive african produce is this was what led to the conversation i had with my sister i had somebody that was going to nigeria and my sister said oh get this get this get this for me i quenish yes i quenish on all of them then when the person was coming back i said to her oh this person is coming back in a week time i was expecting her to go buy curry fish buy a goosey buy a bono buy fish and all those things and give to the person to give to me cha i did not see in chari i did not see anything so when i called her and i was like what happened she's like oh i i didn't even know you people you that you need it i was like what do you mean don't i cook she said oh i did not know uh -uh, you would have sent money for me to get it for you i was shocked because this is this is the first time i'm saying i am not giving any money for you to buy anything for me so my expectation was like okay is give me i give you right I gave and I got nothing in return and I was so pissed like I was, I was literally so so angry about that so expectations of people in Nigeria is that we don't need anything but those egwisi those ugu those obono and all those things will really really go a long way because if you have to go to the African shop to buy those things here you know how expensive they cost sometimes a kilo of egwisi will take you like when you want to convert the currency like let's do the conversion here is a struggle another struggle we have is the fact that all the african nigerian vegetables we have to eat abroad here are all dried dried they will see dried bitter leaf the ugo dried and chow dried okazi dried or dried everything everything we have to eat is dried you don't get that taste like when you're eating fresh produce the taste is not the same thing another struggle we have is the fact that we are missing a lot of family occasion living abroad i missed my brother's ordination yes priestly ordination i have a brother that is a priest a gem my other brother got married that is the one that really really hurt me today my other brother got married i did not go he had a baby I did not go his wife died i did not see her and i did not go do you know the pain that caused we miss a lot of family occasion i remember um my family member they did i think i'm going to be putting that picture in this video they did a photo shoot i was not there they had to ask me to send a picture they photoshopped me inside the picture i'm going to be leaving it somewhere so that you will see because my brother was leaving they didn't know when we we're going to be a family again together so they did like a photo shoot without me they had to catapult me inside that is something we miss living abroad when i see people doing family photo shoot when they are together i'm like when is that going to happen in my family
family but i live abroad is a struggle if you want to go back to nigeria you know what is going to take you to go back to go to nigeria to visit another struggle we have about living abroad is the expectation that there is a three outside my brother said to me the other day oh my friend is coming for it, a training in switzerland please can you give him phone and i said what phone do you need he said iphone 13. <laughs> i just jet jelly i walked online media mart i typed the price of iphone 13 i was forwarding it to him convert it in naira <laughs> now nah, bring the money i buy people think there are, there's a three where you plug iphone ipad laptop Oh, Chi, buy this for me now. Oh, when do send me this now? Send me this, please. It's high time. I think back in the days, I remember when I was in Nigeria, I used to have that expectation till I came abroad. <laughs> please, oh, people in Nigeria, people in Africa, it's high time that you people realize that things are ridiculously expensive. When somebody sends you a phone, maybe they have had that phone, they took a one year or two year contract on that phone, and they've paid it off, they are taking another one, so they have this one as spare and they are giving it to you. Please, 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 the same prices that phone costs in Nigeria, it costs more here abroad please another expectation of people living <laughs> people living abroad is that you don't use money for anything when he jig me when he like when he you know the amount of bills we pay in nigeria you have the luxury of paying your bills once every year every two years your rent electricity bill yes every month but abroad you pay almost everything on a monthly basis your rent is paid on a monthly basis insurance monthly phone bill monthly all these bill school fees of children if your kids go to school or after school program you pay on a monthly basis it's not by term in nigeria i know you pay by term or in Af other african countries you pay on a timely basis but abroad we pay on a monthly basis so you can sometimes i am so scared to even open the letter from the post when the postman puts letter there sometimes i leave it there like there's someone else that's going to come and take it to pay because you know that any envelope you open is bill we literally pay for everything hey <laughs> god because please expectation that you people expect from people living abroad is too much please bring it down a little bit another expectation that people expect from people abroad is for you to be sending them money on a daily basis let me tell you something when someone sends you money in nigeria that person have sacrificed a lot there are a lot of people that they work on an hourly basis that they pay them eight ten dollars an hour so if that person send you 500 dollars calculate how many hours that person have worked to be able to save up that 500 dollars they gave to you when you're eating it in arena with respect oh because yeah it's not like you just go one place you boss twenty thousand on takeaway boss fifty thousand on e trees you know it's so sad you know be a bit considerate when somebody abroad send you money they have saved a lot they have deprived yourself of a lot of things i am guilty of that sometimes I see something I want to buy and I'm like, oh, this money will go a long way for my mother. And I send up instead, I would like, oh, let me forfeit this thing to give my mom this money. It's not easy. When I used to work, I used to do like I forfeited a lot of things to send money back home. Please, 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 my fellow people in Nigeria, when somebody send you money, please be considerate when you're eating the money. Because yeah, no, because, 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 because yeah. Yeah, so another struggle of living abroad is the fact that we have missed a lot of oambe hey when you see me if there's a party in switzerland and i turn up i feel like somebody at up on anger someone that just came out from prison i am so hyped i am so excited like i'm all over the place i just want to dance even if i don't know how to dance but the fact that is an oambe is a party there is music there is food and i have left my house it's so much joy like you don't know it's very difficult for people to do hosting and all those things so when there is one now we turn up like never before but in nigeria activities almost on a weekly basis there's always something happening there is a naming ceremony there is a wedding there is a no one bed there is something happening on a weekly basis. it's just you that will say you know what this week i don't want to go anywhere but we miss that as well it's part of the struggles of living abroad you cannot just turn up in nigeria you can turn up in a wedding it's not you're not you're not invited you're just plus one over there you both a big wedding i've already been to, i've only been to wedding once in 12 years of living abroad 
a baby for wedding so these are some of the struggles we have living abroad yes i miss home would i want to go back to nigeria to go and live i don't think so I don't think so with the situation of how everything is happening now in Nigeria. I don't think so. And um, but life goes on. You win some, you lose some. So I just want people to realize that life is a give and take. You don't just take, 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 take without giving. Even if it's just like one thousand, you're like, okay, I bought this curry fish, or maybe I made this clothes for your child. You you know the joy it will give me to know that oh, my sister made this native or send this thing to me it will give me so much joy so please people abroad when people um people in nigeria when people abroad send you something it will be good to just send them a little bit one, one thing one thing yes i'm not expecting you to send like because i bought you this and that then you should buy me this and no no no, no but show appreciation by showing kindness as well it's not just thank you yeah, thank you is good but now nah, go take a go take a refuge go to send or so i'm going to be dry and um, um, ending this video here i hope you enjoy it i hope i made sense if you have your own expectation or your struggles as well just write it in the comment section let's have a conversation tell me what your struggles are this is my own personal little ones i can remember off the back of my head in this video so tell me some of yours and let's get this conversation going have an amazing day till i come to your screen again my name is wendu and have an amazing day bye